in still under the integrate uh, page pattern function, right? To update the content, you follow this, follow like, like about 11 steps, right? The first is on the list of theme, under options that we are working on, click on edit theme, right? So let's go back to the list of themes here. Options, then edit theme, right? So you click on edit theme. Then on the pop-top screen, click on edit main layout, okay? You click on edit main layout. Now, everything has the main layout. It also has different individual pages. Now, this is the main layout. The main layout really contains the header and the footer. Because like you said, this is the header. This is the footer. Do you understand? It usually contains the header. The header is something that you will always be in. All, so everything you have in the main layout here will be containing all the pages of that thing. All the pages that will, the thing will be used. So that's why you have it as a, the main layout. Do you understand? So that's why we have, you know, this is where we have the logo. This is where we have the navigation. This is where we have the copyright. Because those information are going to be available in all the pages. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand, right? So, what are we going to do? We are going to try to look at content that will be, uh, we are going to edit here. So, the first thing, as this says, is update the logo area to use the following HTML code. Okay? So, what are we going to do? We'll go to the theme, the way it is. Um, to make it easy to edit, we are going to pop up this part we are going to pop up this part to open a different page okay but it's the same it's the same thing so we have um, this is the logo area so I'm gonna go to code view right remember that uh, here it tells us to always update in the code view it's always better to update in the code view. So let's look at what we're doing. I'm going to go to code view. And I'm going to look for where the logo area is. Where is it? Oh, this is it, right? Yeah, they are using text as logo here. So we are going to convert it to image that we have, which is... Uh, the image we have is here. Uh, which is this, right? So I'm just going to copy this code. And I'll put it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is I'm replacing this with this okay uh, now this code is pretty simple is this, this style is to ensure you know what this style is doing right that the logo does not go bigger than a hundred pixel right sometimes somebody can just go and use a large picture as image right so then the SRC this is the log UI for logos in page pattern do you understand we can we may be going to another thing, but this is how you locate logos in page pattern. For slash IMD for slash logo. Okay. Then this alternative test, you will learn more about this uh, variable here. But this alternative test is whenever there is no logo, there may be for whatever reason this one is not loaded. It will show this organization name. This is going to be replace a replaceable text in page pattern that will replace true the organization name set by the user. Do we understand? So you have this set now. Let's save. Uh, I, I believe uh, it didn't ask us to save, but let's save first and preview so that we find out that the logo is showing correctly. It saves. 
How did you say it, Matthew? Because I lost your feet. I clicked it. I clicked it already. So the logo is displaying, right? So this is exactly what we wanted to do. Now, um, so what's next? Next is to make all the forms work by embedding embedding the inbuilt widget using details on this. So usually on your themes, you may have some forms on it. Let's find out uh, which form we have here. Do we have any form? Look at this form. This is a form, right? This is an opt-in form, right? So, but just like, you know, it's HTML, right? It's um, lifeless. You can't submit this form now, will not submit. Because it's not, it's kind of like, there's no, no function can work in HTML. You have to integrate it with something in the back end. So that's what we're doing with the page cartons thing. So in this, it tells us to make it using, there's a different article that talks about how to integrate. Forms. But basically, what it tells us to do is about three things. First, to update the settings, we can skip that actually. Okay, we can skip this part. Go to get form, get the form widget URL. That's what we are going to use for the target. So the URL here, you find out what kind of form this you are trying to integrate. Uh, so. Where is this thing? So what kind of form is this? Uh, this seems like an opt-in form. It could be any kind of form, right? It could be a login form you're trying to integrate. It could be a sign-up form. It could be a contact form. It could be post creation. It's email opt-in, right? Yeah, so it's email opt-in. So what this means is that you look for the widget URL for the email email opt-in form, which is this one. So you copy it. You come to your code, where the code is, which is, uh, okay. It looks like it's not here. It's not here. So if it's not here, it's likely going to be on um, I actually think that this form part should be like the last thing that we are supposed to do but let's just go and leave let's leave this part um, okay so there is something that is not covered in this Tutorial, which is uh, to if you can't find it here you can go to any of these other pages here you know this is the main theme layout there are so many other layouts here like the home page layout the about layout the category layout the contact layout the single layout. okay so I think we found uh, we are going to have to come to options, click on preview page on each of those pages to find out where the form is, okay? So I think this is the form right here. It's on the home page, right? It's on the home page, right? Uh -huh. So since it's on the home page, we can just come to edit the home page itself. Hmm? I click on edit. You will find out that this, any update you have made on the main layout will be reflecting here automatically. Look at the logo. You see that the logo is showing here automatically. That's how it's going to be showing on all the pages. So now looking, let's open this in a different tab so we can edit it better. So we are going to look for where that thing is. This is it right here, right? We'll look for the section that has it. Hmm? Then you div dive in into code view, okay? You look at the code producing it now. The action of the form will be going to the URL defined here. 
Okay, so you just copy this code here. Then you put it at the action. Okay. Then the next thing is to look at what method is there. The method is post, right? So you change. Sometimes it may have a method, sometimes it doesn't. So since it doesn't, I'll put a method attribute in it and call it post. Okay. That means we have the we have everything. So we just make sure you don't need this is more like a form. A form attribute. It's a form thing, right? Whenever somebody is filling the form. The action attribute dictates where it is going to post to, where it is going to send the form data to. This method indicates where the, met the method is, the form is going to use to transmit that data. So this is a method of transmission, hmm? which is post. There are different kind of methods. It could be post, it could be get, it could be delete, it could be put. Hmm? So different methods, it's more like a terminology that you don't need to plan. You get to understand it as you begin to use it. Hmm? So you will see that in this place, in this place, there are, you have some, play post is plenty. There's one get, right? Which is on that search box. Usually search uses get. Get, for get is what you're going to see what you typed in the address bar. Hmm? forget for post we not see it. So that's why when you go on Google you search something you see what you search here right that's because it's get so it's talk about different methods used to uh, to post so you don't have to cram that one okay just know that this is what you are supposed to do do you understand so you put action here to indicate that this is the script that will process the data hmm? Then method to tell this is the method you use to transmit that data. Do you understand? Then the next uh, in this place uh, after you have done this, the next is to uh, look for form elements. Uh, you use what name attributes you are going to use for the form elements, which are this. This is the form element. The only form element in this form is the email, um, the email field, the email field. So you are going to find uh, what what name attribute to use for it. So how do you find out what name attribute to use? Normally you can cram it. I know what name attribute to use uh, because I've been doing it for so long. It's, uh, but to know what name attribute to use for this action attribute because every action have exactly what they are expecting from the form. Okay, so for this one, we need to find out which what is being expected. So what we are going to do is that we are going to copy this widget URL and. Uh, and go to uh, dev the website any page got on the website dev uh, theme dev okay this one then you put the widget URL in it right first go to the URL to see what you are going to see it's going to display the main opt-in form that comes with page capital. This is the mail uh, main opt-in opt form. So what we are trying to do is I want to link that one, the one that comes with the thing, to the one that comes with page capital. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to uh, then now to now find out what name attribute this one is using so that we can use it in that one, right? We are going to use a term, a term, which is this. We are going to just copy this one and put it at the back of. 
part of your URL. You know? PC inspects blah blah blah, right? It's a name attribute of the element above is email, right? Which is this one, it's email. So I'm going to copy this email and I will use it as the attribute for this one. Look at this, this element right here. This is the enter, this is where you are entering the email. So you use this. Okay, you say name equals because they, they don't have any name attribute or if they had the name attribute i'll just change it to email right but they don't have it here so i just use i put the whole attributes inside this do you understand then i'll save so let's try to find out if this is going to work let's find out if this will work so uh, subscribe if it's working it's going to go to see it it's going to come here do you understand now it's linked correctly do you understand normally if we are done if you had done this first part, which is this one, if you had done this part, which is to update the settings, it will not come here. Sorry. It will not come here. Hmm? It will submit automatically. Do you understand? But we don't really need to submit automatically, right? So we are just going to... So this is working now. We do that for all the forms that are on the site. But let's leave it here first. We are still going to go to the uh, to the contact. There's likely going to be a contact from here. Hmm? Or should we try that? Let's let's see if we can do. Should we do contact form now? Okay. Let's go to the. Uh, let's find out if there's any other form in the on the about page. This same thing is here. For this, we don't really need to do it again since we have done it before. Uh, we have done it before. So we can just copy the code and paste it above. That is not needed. So let's just delete this tab. Okay? Or you can come here. We can still use it though, we can still use it. Let's, there's another thing you should learn. Okay, let's, let's just keep it, okay? Let's delete it and save. So next is contact page. Let's go to the contact page. Contact page. Now you see this is a contact form. On this place you see contact form, right? This is the URL. You copy the URL right here. And you come to where the form is. Where is it? This is it. So you go to code view. You look for the form in your code. There is a form. Look at the action here, right? You change the action, the value of the action attribute to the URL. Okay? Then you also give it a method. The method is also post. Okay, that is the first uh, the part. Now the other part is the element. Okay, so we do the same thing we did. You uh, just do the same thing, right? So which is uh, theme the theme dev 
blah 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 then we use this URL mm -hmm. the URL then we pull uh, this to the back of it okay it shows everything mm -hmm. first it shows everything this is the name the full name this is the attribute this one okay so I copy it I come back to the code I look for where the name is look at name this one has first name last name all these things right but this is the input that is collecting the first name it doesn't have a name attribute I'll create it I call it name equals this okay in our uh so we also have phone number right we have phone number this is not okay we have full name we have email we have phone number right and there is another other attribute here we have subject and we have message okay so we don't have last name <coughs> But this one has last name okay so we can't use the last name let's find out this is email right mm -hmm. so let's um let's change the email email is contact us email right here okay so i'm gonna copy the contact us email uh we we'll use it here name equals this okay now this has subject too the subject is name contact us subject okay then the message the name is contact us message okay but this one there is no phone number here but there is first name we can change the first the last name to a phone number okay so this one we can change it to phone number contact us um, Number. Have you? What did you use there? Yeah, contact us phone number. Okay. Do you understand what we're doing? Okay, so that's all. You save, and we are done with that aspect. So our forms are working. Meaning the contact form now too should be working. Let's try to test the contact form. So when you are when you are done with it, you should try to test it so that you are sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to work. Okay. So we are done with forms. Let's see what is next. Is replaceable text. Okay. So let's stop this one.